guys, so today I'm back with my monthly favorites. I haven't done one in a few months, so I wanted to just catch you guys up on some products I've been loving lately. These are all beauty items. Um, it seems like you guys liked my um, non-beauty favorites, but I don't really have enough of those to do another one, so I'm just going to do one every few months, I think. Anyways, um, yeah, these are going to be products I've been loving pretty much like the past two months or so, and they're all fairly new products. So yeah, let's just get started. First, I wanted to mention a product that I used in a few tutorials recently ooh, um, that I wanted to share with you guys that I just think is like the best palette ever. This is the Tartlet in Bloom palette. If you haven't picked this up, I highly suggest it. It's very pigmented colors. Um, another great must-have neutral palette. Um, mattes and shimmers in there. So it's a great palette to just have because I... It's hard to find palettes that have, you know, good mattes and good shimmers, like, all in one. Um, and like I said in a past video, I brought this on my vacation, and it was the only eyeshadow palette I brought, and I was, like, good to go. So, um, yeah, I am wearing it today. I have Smarty Pants and Rebel in my crease, and, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a very simple look today. So, absolutely love this palette. Um, I like it better than the first Tartlet palette because it does have the shimmers in there. Um, the first Tartlet palette is just all mattes. Next, I wanted to talk about a brush set that I've been loving. You guys have probably seen me using these in recent videos lately, and I don't usually um, list all the brushes that I use, which I probably should because I get so many questions. But I wanted to mention this brush set. It is the JD Weighty. She's gorgeous and I love all of her videos and all of her work is amazing. Um, but she came out with this brush set from um, Luxie Beauty and it's like the perfect contouring brush set. So um, it comes with three different brushes and they're dual ended. So really you get six brushes, but in three brushes, if that makes sense. The first one is this one has this gorgeous, um, really fluffy fan brush, which is great for, you know, putting your um, highlight on your cheeks and everywhere. And the other side is really great for just like applying um, powder, like kind of just dabbing it over and setting areas for your highlight. Um, the other one is great for applying, you know, contour and bronzer. It has this brush on one end, which is good to apply like a cream contour or something like that. And then the other side is a great little either blending brush or um, I like to use this for bronzer. Um, it's the perfect little size to get like in your, um, underneath your cheekbone area. It's just like the perfect little brush for right there, um, which I love. And it's also really nice for getting up in your hairline without putting um, too much product on. And then the other brush that it comes with is mainly for nose contouring. So it has this angled brush on one side, which is to get like a really thin line. And then the other side is this angled fluffy blending brush, which is perfect to, you know, go in and blend that away. I don't really use this side too much because I don't um, do a super dramatic nose contour. So I pretty much just use this one side and it does the job really well. So I love these brushes and they're super cute. So um, congrats girl on these brushes, they're awesome. The next thing I wanted to mention is a lip liner and a few lip products. So the first is a lip liner from Urban Decay. It's the Gwen Stefani lip liner. Again, I've used this in a few recent videos and it is the um, ex-girlfriend shade, which is kind of, I don't know about that because you know, the whole Blake Shelton thing and, you know, they were married and now she's the new woman. I don't know. Um, but whatever, that has nothing to do. Well, it kind of does, considering the name. But anyways, it's the perfect nude shade um, that goes with pretty much anything. Very close to my natural lip color. So there it is right there. It's long wearing, um, you know, easy to blend. Um, you can use it um, by itself to line your lips or just fill them in as well. It's just a really great color. And then I'm going to talk about a bunch of lip products. And yeah, looking at them all right now, you're probably not surprised because this is just my just my scene of these nudes. But they're all amazing and you need them all. <laughs> um, well, you don't, but you actually do. So anyways, um, these three right here are the new ColourPop Ultra Satin Lips which are different than the ultra mattes. Obviously the ultra mattes, gorgeous, love them, very long wearing, but they're super drying on your lips and they can kind of give you that cracking feeling while you're 
wearing them throughout the day. So um, these are great. They have just as much color payoff. They are very long wearing still and they're just a little bit less drying and a little bit less matte, but they're just so gorgeous. So I'm actually wearing one of them today. Um, I'm wearing Dopey today. The other ones are Mess Around and Magic Wand. So I'm just gonna swatch them really quick on the back of my hand um, so you guys can see the colors a little bit better. So here they are right here, which you can see, yeah, they're definitely totally different. Um, this one's more on the pinky mauve side. That's dopey in the middle. This is more of a grayish nude um, that one's um, What was it? <laughs> Mess around and then the lightest one on the end is the magic wand. So they're all really really great colors and um, Yeah, as you can see as they're drying They're not shiny or anything like that. Um, I have a lip gloss over the one that I'm wearing right now. So that's why it may look a little shiny. Which brings us to my next favorite. This is a new one from Gerard Cosmetics. This is their Supreme Lip Cream in Angel Cake, which is like the perfect um, nude lip gloss. It's very pigmented. You can wear it on its own, um, but today I have it over the Dopey Ultra Satin. So I'll just swatch it next to here. And there it is. And the Ultra Satins, there's not really any smell to them, but the Gerard Cosmetics, this one has kind of like a fruity, sweet, like edible smell. So these are all super gorgeous and you need them if you're into nudes. So that's that. Then I wanted to talk about the ever so popular Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. And this one is in that glow. I have the other one as well. But this one I just like more for my skin tone. If you have more of like a golden skin tone, I think that this one is just better. But I might just be saying that for whatever reason. But they're all really super gorgeous shades. The ones that I use the most are these ones right here. Um, golden bronze and dripping gold. I have a combination of those on my cheekbones right now Love 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 those and um, these two I actually really like um, To put on my inner corner. So I'm actually wearing a mixture of these two on the inner corner of my eyes And they're just really pretty these this one I just find is like a little bit too light and bright for my cheekbones um, right now, but they're all just so gorgeous and I guess I will swatch them so you can see what I mean. So here they are from the lightest to the darkest, which I hope you can see. But they're all super pretty and just in that same family. So you can't go wrong with this kit. And I just think that these are just so nice to have like palettes. I like palettes because I don't like single things. It's just more things that I have to worry about finding because I'm just like, an organized unorganized mess so it's nice when everything's like right in here and then you can just kind of mix everything together um that's just my style i just like to mix things like especially like lip colors or like blushes like i have like 85 layers of like different things on my lips at all times so that's when it's hard when like i post like a photo or like in a video people ask me what i'm wearing on my lips like i usually just say like the thing that's on there last or maybe just two things but in reality sometimes I have like five different things like I could have all of these things on my lip at once like just have a weird obsession with mixing so that's that then I wanted to mention um, this next product which I actually have on my face as well I'm pretty much wearing most of these things um, but anyways this is the it cosmetics your skin but better CC plus cream um, this stuff is awesome. I love to try like different like tinted moisturizers, um, BB creams, CC creams, all that. Um, but this one is like really, really great. It is full coverage, which is nice because most um, BB creams or CC creams are not full coverage. They're more on like the sheer side. But I mean, obviously you can tell it's, you know, it's pretty good coverage. Um, but it also doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything. Like it literally feels like a moisturizer, which is really cool. And also has an anti-aging hydrating serum in there, which is great because who doesn't want to be anti-aging realistically? I don't care if you're like 12, you want to look like you're 10, whatever. Um, and it also has SPF 50. So it has sunscreen in there, which is great because you want to protect your skin. 
So yeah, I have this in the shade Tan, and yeah, I'm really, really into it. This is probably one of my favorites lately, and I just started trying it in the past few weeks, but I really, really love it. So let me know if you've tried this or some of your other, like, favorite. I know I talk about a lot of, like, different, like, tinted moisturizers, but I just love them more than foundations, really, just because I feel like they're doing more for my skin. All right, so the next beauty item that I wanted to mention, which I have a whole video about this, but in case you guys missed it, or you haven't heard, or if you haven't seen it on Snapchat, Instagram, whatever, um, I did come out with my own lashes. So obviously they're making it to uh, my favorites because I designed them, so obviously they're my favorite. Um, but I'm wearing them today, so you can see them on, but I just love them so much, and it's like the only lash I'm wearing currently, just because it's just so perfect. Um, so yeah. This is what they look like in the packaging, and I'm just so in love with them. I'm so glad that so many of you guys have been making orders and purchasing them. Um, like I said, if you get them, make sure to use hashtag Stephanie Lash so I can see your posts wearing them. Um, you guys are just so gorgeous. And like when I see you guys tag me in things, you guys are just so pretty. It's like crazy. Anyways, um, I'm thinking about doing a, another giveaway. Um, on Snapchat, so make sure you're following me on Snapchat, SMLX0. Make sure you're following me so you can be part of that giveaway. So anyways, obviously I love these. Just wanted to mention them once again. So yeah, hope you guys like them too. And I have another palette, and this is a contour palette. Again, I've been using this in a few videos lately. And this is the Lorac Pro Contour Kit. It's just the best ever, um, really. Um, I just love the color selections in here. I mainly use the light contour and the medium. Um, I really don't have to use the deep contour just because it's pretty dark and I have a tan and I still don't really need to use that at all. So this one is great just for all around um, bronzing and this one I like a lot for doing like a nose contour. Also it makes a really good um, like crease shade eyeshadow. So I really love that. And these are great. Um, you can set your under eye or, you know, your highlight on your nose and your chin, forehead, whatever. Um, and then you have a nice, like, shimmery highlight in there. So this palette is just awesome. And like I said, I like having palettes because it has everything all in one. And um, powder contours, it's just better for every day, I think. Um, it's just more practical, I think. So, Yeah. <laughs> Uh, love that. And then I wanted to talk about um, a skincare product. Also, it could just be a hair care product. Any kind of product, really. Um, and I have touched on Argan Oil and Josie Marin products in the past, but I wanted to shout this one out because I just, I'm just i obsessed lately. And this is the Josie Marin 100% Pure Argan Oil. I get mine from QVC. I think this came in like a set with a bunch of other things. But it's really just great for pretty much anything. Your skin, your hair. You can put it on um, like your nails, like your cuticles and stuff. It's just like an all around great oil. You probably know this about me if you are familiar with my videos, but I do suffer from a mild case of psoriasis. And lately, I think it's ever since I got back from vacation, um, my I just had like a really bad flare up. Like I'll get it like on my neck and like on the sides of my face. Like I just get so self-conscious about it. Like especially when I'm filming a makeup tutorial, like it'll be like in my eyebrow or like on my hairline. And then I'm just like, oh my gosh, I, I'm just editing a video and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't even look at my skin. It's just annoying me. But I don't know if any of you guys have um, psoriasis as well or eczema, um, which is similar. This can really help with that. Um, I'm not really sure what it is that's in the oil, but it just really has helped clear it up. So um, it is um, significantly better um, since I started putting this on there, which I was using coconut oil and it just wasn't really doing it for me. I don't know if my skin got used to it, but this is really great. And coconut oil is kind of a pain when you have to like melt it down, you know, but whatever. Um, love this. It's great for like anti-aging for your skin as well. Um, basically what I would do is just like at nighttime before I go to bed, I would just pat it on everywhere and wherever I needed it. And then whatever is just left on my hands, I just kind of run it through the ends of my hair to, um, you know, kind of hydrate them and seal in the moisture. So, um, I definitely love, um, Josie Marin's products and make sure you get 100% pure argan oil. I know there's some at like the drugstore, but they're not even like all argan oil. They're like 
have different chemicals and things mixed in. So just beware when you're purchasing argan oil. And I have one more thing and not really beauty related, um, but I did just want to mention it in this video. So I'm just going to put it on and then I'll show you guys what's up. Um, but this is a t-shirt that I designed with Bonfire Funds. It's just for a good cause, which hold on. Anyways, um, for those of you who don't know, I know this video is March favorites, but when this video is up, it is going to be April. So I wanted to mention this. So for those of you who don't know, April is Autism Awareness Month, and if you know a little bit about me, I kind of share this every April, um, but I do have um, my younger brother who is on the autism spectrum. So it is a cause that is close to my heart and I wanted to help, you know, just raise awareness and raise some money. So all the proceeds from this t-shirt that I'm going to show you guys in two seconds are going to the Autism Research Foundation. And I'll have a link for where you guys can purchase a shirt or just like learn a little bit more about the fund itself. Um, but yeah, my brother is on the spectrum, so I wanted to raise money for it. So this is the shirt that I came up with, and it's just kind of this blue shirt with these rainbow colors, and it says, I know it's kind of bright in here, but it says different, not less, with the puzzle pieces, which are kind of the signature graphic for autism. So I wanted to share this with you guys and let you know that April is Autism Awareness Month. I'll probably post on this shirt again on Instagram on autism, the official autism awareness day, which is April 12th. So yeah, if you guys are interested in supporting a good cause and getting this really cute shirt, which is like perfect for like the gym or something, um, then just check that out because it would mean a lot to me. And yeah, if you don't want to support, then don't support it. But just thought I would mention it to you guys. Um, so yeah. So that pretty much wraps up this month's monthly favorites. I hope you guys liked it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Other than that, I'll see you guys soon. Maybe it would be in the